We came now to the end of another year. And from January to December, God had been good to us. Can I get a witness? But through all the 12 months that we made it down to the end of another year, we still need the Lord's blessing. Not just on Sunday, but every day. Lord, we need your blessing. Lord, we need your blessing. Oh, Lord, just one blessing. Just 
for blessing. They just for blessing. They thank you, Jesus. to the 
next level. I, I know that some of you won't make it on tomorrow night and, and you don't have your New Year's resolution, but I've started a New Year resolution to Mount Hermon and that's for us to go to the next level. I have challenged you for 30 days to pray for yourself, pray for your spiritual growth, pray for your community, pray for your church, and then read the Bible three chapters a day. I'm challenging you to go to another level. Because, beloved, if you got the same level of faith, if you got the same attitude that you had last year, God can't use you. Okay, because y'all looking at me already in this tone that I don't want you to look at me in. Uh, what does this have to do with the text? Let's deal with the text for a little while. Jesus had already called Simon and Andrew to be disciples, but they didn't answer him. Here in Luke chapter 5, this is the second calling to them to become disciples of Jesus Christ. I know you think that because God called you the first time, you got it right. Every now and then, God got to call you another time. Okay, y'all still looking at me. Come here, Jonah. Jonah didn't want to go down to see the people of Nineveh saved, so he went to a place called Tasha's and paid the fare. And God had to take Jonah by himself in the belly of a big fish and put Jonah by himself and begin to talk to Jonah and say, Jonah, when I command you to do something, I want you to do it. I don't want to hear no ands, buts about it. And every now and then, God will put some sickness on you. God will put some death on you. God will put some trouble on you to grab your attention, to tell you he wants you to go to another level. Y'all still looking at me in this tone that I don't want you to look at me in. Here Jesus finds a boat by himself and tells Peter, push out and let me talk from the boat. That's why every preacher ought to stand up behind the sacred desk and call men, women, boys, and girls to be fishermen of Christ. It ain't my job to get of the sheep. It's your job to get of the sheep. Come on, come on, because y'all still looking at me. I'm just trying to deal with the text. So Jesus began to teach the disciples to let them know that the wages of sin is still death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I know that you love your occupation, but every now and then you got to put your occupation to the side and be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Y'all still looking at me in that tone that I don't want you to look at me in. So let's deal with three little points. Point, point number one, you got to learn how to ignore past failures. All of us in here have failed at something. Henry Ford went bankrupt before he got Ford Motor Company off the ground. Steve Jobs went bankrupt. Colonel Sanders got rejected so many times for his recipe, but because he didn't let his past failure stop him, that's why we got KFC. Uh, 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 uh. Walt Disney, Walt Disney. Uh, people say it's a shame that he died before Disney World was ever completed, but I, I disagree. He saw it before it was completed. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Don't let nobody stop you from your dream. Don't let nobody stop you from what God has called you to do. Don't let nobody, don't let yourself stop you from your past failure. Get yourself right back up and say, I may have failed last year, but I'm going to make progress this year. I wish y'all would take the brakes off of me. Peter, watch what Peter says. Watch what Peter says because y'all don't think I'm in the text. Peter says, Lord, we toiled all night. Now, Peter is an experienced fisherman. This is his job. He knows where the fish are jumping and biting. He knows when to go. And that night, they didn't catch nothing. God won't let you do what you want to do until you submit to what he wants you to do. I, I know you've been applying for jobs. I know you've been applying for schools. But God says, until you do it my way, ain't nothing going to happen. I wish y'all talked to me if you can. I, I, I heard one of my friends tell me, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's an average hunter. One of my friends, he's an average hunter, but him 
and his, his sister got into it and, and, and because he's a Christian yes even Christians get into it with family members and, 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 and God wanted him to be the bigger person and so he was out hunting and he knew that it's hunting season he, he knows where, where, where the deer's at and, and while he's in his, his tree stand uh, the game warden came out and was getting ready to take him to jail and he's like what this is my property but the game warden wanted to take him to jail so he had good clout so he called one of his friends that worked for the state and his friend came down and said man I got this talk to the game warden and the man said no nah, I ain't going to hunt because when you leave they're going to try to get me his friend said no nah, you better get the girls up back up there and hunt and so while he's up there hunting God kept hitting him kept hitting him and said send your sister a text message and apologize he, he, he did like some of us Text. Delete, 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 delete. Text. Delete, 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 delete. But then he texts, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Sin. And when she texts back, I forgive you. He said it seemed like heaven opened up and all types of deer start running out. That's how the type of God I serve. When you got hatred in your heart, when you got mischief in your heart, God ain't going to let nothing happen the way you want it to happen. Peter, Peter said, Peter said, nevertheless, at your word. Okay, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Because I, I know, I know y'all looking at me in that tone that I don't want you to look at me and so let me come get you. They've been, they've, been te- they've been fishing all night, been dropping their nets, ain't caught nothing. Jesus says, go out a little bit further and cast your net to the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting happy already. Lord, I've been out here all night, ain't caught nothing, but nevertheless, I wish y'all would have a nevertheless moment. It it ain't about me, but nevertheless at your word. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me do it one more time. I I know, I know it's too early. Y'all, I done messed y'all up by bringing the sermon way up in the part of the program. He says, not my way, but nevertheless at your word. And, And when he cast the net at the word of Jesus, the Bible says that the net went down, that they caught so many fish that they had to beckon other people to come help them. And the two ships begin to sink. When you start doing stuff at God's way and God's God's word, you're going to have to call your friends, you're going to have to call your loved ones and say, come get some of this overflow, it's not because of me, it's because of him if we're going to go to the next level, you got to ignore your past failures everybody can't handle uh, what God has in store for you but you got to get over what you've done to get ready to accept what he got for you. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, because y'all, y'all, y'all didn't like that one. Number two, you got to learn how to initiate the possibilities of your future. You got to, you got to be an initiator. Oh, see, y'all don't like that because you want to be a follower. You got to be an initiator. Uh, you can't keep walking in the footsteps of other folks. Sometimes you got to walk in the footsteps of your own self. Uh, I wish y'all would talk to me. Sometimes you got to initiate the conversation. Sometimes you got to initiate the process. Uh, deliver me from folks who always think you got to speak to them. Ah, I came to get you, baby, Baba. Uh, 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 sometimes I got a lot on my mind. I don't see you, so don't go tell folks I don't speak to you. I almost said something right there. You got to learn how to initiate. Okay, let me come get you. Let me come get you. Let me tell you like my grandma told me. Uh, baby, I can lead you to water, but I can't make you drink. Okay, let me show you. Because y'all still looking at me like we ain't in the text. Jesus is preaching. He tells Peter to push out. Because the multitude were following him. Everywhere Jesus went, he had a crowd. But everybody wasn't there for the right reason. Some people just come
come to see you fail. I wish y'all would talk to me. Everybody who say they happy for you really ain't happy for you. Some people wish it was them, but they mad because God made it you. Can, can, can I help you what you're going to have to deal with in 2019? You got to learn this, this simple phrase right here in 2019, and it's only for you who will go to the next level. You got to learn this favor ain't fair, but the show is fun. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Because everybody don't know your story. They just looking at your glory. And if they knew what the hell you had to go through, if they knew what the pain you had to face, if they knew what the sadness you had to go through, they wouldn't be mad at you. They'd be shouting with you. Because somebody in here other than me know that you don't know the pain behind my praise. You don't know the hell behind my hallelujah. You don't know the sadness behind my shout. But every time I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul say yeah you got to learn how to initiate the possibilities of your future you're going to have to go back to school you're going to have to get a trade you're going to have to learn to do something huh, huh, huh. let me help you because y'all cause, 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 I, I know I ain't talking about y'all I'm talking about your cousins so come on Reverend, don't the Bible say that you got to have faith? The Bible says faith without works is dead. So with my faith, I got to put some works to it. That means if I want the job, I got to get up and go apply for the job. If I want the car, I got to make sure my credit is good for the car. If I want the house, I, I don't care how much I name it, blab it, and grab it. If I don't put no works behind it, I ain't going to have it. Let me help you. Yes, money gonna come to you this Friday if you went to work last week. Come, come on, talk to me if you can. You got to get off your blessed insurance and learn how to initiate what God has for you. Okay, because y'all still looking at me like I don't know the Bible. Ephesians chapter 1, you read it when you get home. It says that we have some spiritual blessings that's stored up for us. What God has for me is for me. You can't get it. So stop this. If you don't want your blessing, I get it. It don't work like that. What God has for you is for you. But he's waiting on you to grow up so you can get it. Okay, because y'all still looking at me in that tone that I don't want you to look at me in. Uh, look, look, the reason why we got some spiritual blessings, the reasons why that we have things stored up for us is because we got a daddy who adopted us into a family. Oh, I wish y'all would learn how to read the Bible. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1, unless you, unless you think I'm making it up. Uh, he adopted us that now we are joint heirs to the kingdom of God. That means whatever Jesus got, I got it too. Okay, because y'all looking at me. Y'all looking at me. So let me come get you. Huh. I hope, I pray, out of the year and a half I've been y'all pastor, y'all learn this, these two things outside of being a Christian. Number one, that you got a will for when you die. I, I, I hope you got a will. Secondly, I hope you don't start putting up for a rainy day. I, I just pray that, that all my teaching and Bible study has not been in vain, that you got a will and that you start putting up for a rainy day. Because my, my daddy told me a long time ago, baby, one of these days it's going to rain. Uh -huh. Okay, because you say stuff like this. Seem like every time I take one step forward, something else happened. Baby, your transmission really went out three months ago, but God was waiting on you to get your income tax so that you can pay for it. Your freezer really stopped working, but God held it together till you got a little extra something. God is trying to tell you, baby, you got the plan for your future. Okay, 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 because y'all still looking at me. I'm just jaywalking with Ephesians chapter 1 for a minute. Uh, uh, it says that you have been chosen. Everybody ain't been chosen. 
but you've been chosen. Uh, let, let me deal with the poor people real quick. Many are called, but few are chosen. For the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Uh, I wish I, I, somebody know the Bible. You've been picked out to be picked on. Uh, I wish y'all would help me. Everybody can't go through what you go through, but God gave you a little something stronger inside of you that when other folks will break, you won't break. You may buy, but you won't break. That's why I can't help but tell the story about a man named Jesus. Deacon Williams, I've been chosen. I don't know why I got to keep going through what I've gone through, but what, what don't break me make me stronger. Uh, 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 I, I, I have to be honest. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. Uh, I told y'all on Thursday, I struggled with that sermon. I struggled. I struggled. I struggled. Uh, uh, yesterday, I struggled again. I was up to 4 o'clock this morning struggling, saying, God, uh, what happened? I need you right now. God, don't let what, what happened 14 years ago mess with my mind today because 14 years ago today I stood behind the pulpit and eulogized my grandma my God take that out of my mind I need to be closer to you I need to I need to hear a word from you and God told me Johnson 2019 take the church to the next level and those who don't want to go with you hit the door and keep on going but the rest of them you take them to another level because eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered to the heart of men the things that God got in store for this church and if you start praising them right now your row will get full with praises if you start lifting them up right now everybody in your family gonna get saved cause you have been chosen to be the captain of your family you have been chosen to be the captain of your row and if anybody on your row ain't praising them you ought to tell them scoot over some cause this row is for survival so you gotta ignore your past failures I don't care what you have been through ignore it. Paul put it this way. I'm forgetting those things which are Woo! 2018 that joker left you you got fired from your job you got put out of school you better start pressing for what God has for you because you got to learn how to initiate. Okay, I, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Ignore the past of your failures. Initiate the possibilities of your future. Thirdly, you got to learn how to interact with the Father. Y'all missed it already. If you read the Bible, Verse number five says, and it came to pass. Anytime the Bible says, and it came to pass, something get ready to happen. It came to pass that Jesus was by the Sea of Genesaret, which is another name for the Sea of Galilee. He sees some boats, but ain't nobody on the boat. They're out mending and washing their nets. It's just like uh, you good fishermen. When you're done fishing, you just don't leave your fishing rod any type of way. Okay, let, let me come get y'all. It's like me, Kiki, and Tina, when we out in the street, once a month I got to take them apart and do a little cleaning. because you don't want nothing to jam it when you got to use it. So they're away mending their nets and Jesus tell Peter hey, come here. Now out of all the other fishermen, he calls Peter. Every 
now and then God is getting ready to bless somebody on your road. But if you want it to be him, you got to listen to him when he calls your name. So he says, Peter, come here. Push the boat out a little further. Now Peter is on the boat sitting at the feet of Jesus. But Jesus is talking to everybody else. But Peter is there listening. He's like a sponge absorbing everything. Jesus got to say. Now watch this. Jesus went from being fishermen of men to being fishers of fish. I wish I would read the Bible. After he teaches them about being fishermen of fish, a fisherman's of men, he says, come on, let me teach you how to really fish. Huh. You, you want to know how to really pray? Get in touch with God. You want to know how to really fast? Get in touch with God. You want the peace to be a, all past understanding to be on your job? Get in touch with God. You want to make your classroom a better classroom? Get in touch with God because God will give you perfect peace if you learn how to keep your mind stayed on him. You got to learn how to interact. You, you, you just can't interact with him on Sunday. You got to interact with him through the week. God said, I know, I know there's some of y'all favorite songs back in the week, back when you was in the club, uh, you living for the weekend. But God don't want no week time, weekend lover. He want to know, can I call you on Monday? He want to know, can I call you on Tuesday? Can I call you on Wednesday night? Can I talk to you on Thursday morning? Can I talk to you midday Saturday? Can I talk to you late night on Friday? I don't want to have a, a weekend relationship with God. I got to have an interaction with God that when you see me, you see God. When I'm walking, I'm walking with God. When I'm talking, I'm talking with God. When you see me in my car, it's me and Jesus. When you see me at the mall, it's me and Jesus. When you see me at a restaurant with a table by myself, no, I ain't sitting by myself. Jesus is sitting across from me, and we having a date. Uh, so, we gonna go to the next level. Just in case y'all don't come out tomorrow night, we gotta we gotta get closer to Him. You gotta have that intimate relationship with him you got to learn how to talk to him and not talk at him come here come here cause I, I know I know y'all looking at me talking about what you mean don't talk at him when you pray to God you got to once you finish you got to be quiet and let him talk back to you I, I know I know you still looking at me in that tone cause you want to say Lord I need you to do this amen God said no when you finish, just be quiet for a minute. Come here, Moses. Moses said he ain't going to talk to you through the thunder. He ain't going to talk to you through the lightning. But in a still, small voice. I wish y'all would learn how to talk to me in a, in a still, small voice. He'll, he'll learn how to talk to you in a still, small voice. He'll, he'll let you know that you are his in a still, small voice. He'll let you know that everything going to be all right. So, in order for us to go to the next level, I need you to forget about your past. Now, let me clear it up, because Sister, Sister Pat, Wood, Woody, they, 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 they won't take it the right way. I want you to forget about your past failures. Forget about what didn't work. Forget about we already tried that before. Forget about they ain't going to accept it. Because in actuality, they didn't accept Jesus. But when they start seeing them heal the sick, when they start seeing them raise the dead, they begin to say within themselves, what manner of man is this? That even demons, the sea and the storms obey his voice. I'm not trying to give you something new because Upshaw did the planting. I'm just coming to water what Upshaw taught. Now you can't, you can't, you can't have the same faith you had in the 70s and the 22nd century. You got to go deeper in your faith. 
I ain't trying to be like Creflo, Leroy Thompson, or, or T.D. Jakes. I'm telling you, you got to go deeper in your faith in him. Uh, you got to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But if not, uh, our God is still able. Uh, if it don't give me the job, he's still able. Uh, if it don't give me the husband, he's still able. Uh, if it don't give me the house, he's still able. Uh, you got to be like Daniel in the lion's den. Uh, oh king, I won't bow, uh, but my God will protect me. Uh, have I got any help in here uh, that know your God uh, will protect you? Uh, I know you've been praying for some things and you feel like God didn't answer I need to tell you God answer by not giving it to you because there's some things he know you can't handle I wish I had some help in here God knew you couldn't handle a big house if you don't keep your apartment clean God knew you couldn't handle a relationship if you dog your mama God knew you couldn't get thousands of dollars and you couldn't handle twenty dollars so stop praying to God for things that you can do on your own I wish I had some help in here can I go Bible one more time there was a man in the Bible who name was Solomon y'all do know who Solomon was Solomon was David's son and Solomon had a question from God God asked Solomon what do you want you gonna build my temple I'll give you whatever you want Solomon could have asked for more women but he didn't ask for more women Solomon could have asked for riches and money but he didn't ask for riches and money Solomon said to God if you give me wisdom if you give me knowledge I can get my own money I can get my own woman I'm just trying to tell somebody in 2019 you need to ask God increase my faith 2019 you got to pray the prayer of Jabez Lord enlarge my territory you got to pray that God give you the desires of his heart I wish I had some help in here cause there's some things that I want but God knows I can't handle it y'all still looking at me if I came pulling up in the church parking lot with an Audi A8 y'all will start looking at me saying what are you doing with the church money so God knows I better not get an Audi A8 keep on driving that black Mercedes but guess what y'all he got something better than a Mercedes so when I pull up in it don't you hate just celebrate God knows I love clothes right now I got on a nice belt I got on some nice shoes but clothes belt and shoes don't make me if God take all my clothes away I'm still gonna give them praise cause I learned a long time ago it ain't about what you got it's about how you wear it I wish I had some help in here some of y'all look good shopping at the thrift store some of y'all look good shopping at rack room some of y'all look good shopping at payless y'all still looking at me this tie show sure look good because I got it from Ross these socks show sure look good because I got them from Burlington so I wish I had some help in here you ain't got the shop at Dillard's. You ain't got the shop at Belt's. But whatever you got on, wear it to the best of your ability. Wear it with your head up high. Wear it with your chest sticking out. Wear it. Wear it. Because what God, what God has for you in 2019, you are to start claiming it now. Better health, more money, better friends, better, better, better. Say I 
can go to the next level. Because one Friday, on a hill called Calvary, didn't he die? Don't play with me in here. I said, didn't he die? But early, I said early, Sunday morning, I got my second win now. Early, Sunday morning, he got up with all power. Didn't he get up, mother? If you know he got up, will you wave your hand at me? And because he got up, I can get up. Because he got up, I can face tomorrow. Because he got up, I can go another year. Because he got up, I may have to leave some friends in 2018. But because he got up, I can walk right. Because he got up, I can talk right. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. This peace that I have, you didn't give it. You wondering why he acting like that. I just had a flashback because every time I turn around, he keep on making a way. Every time I turn around, he keep on opening doors that I couldn't see. Every time I turn around, he's blessing my family. Every time I turn around, he's blessing my church. Every time I turn around, he keep on, he keep on, he keep on making a way. Sire, sire, sire. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? 